amount of blood on it. Looks like looks like uh, old Taryn and them been laying them down in my absence. This thing looks like a murder scene, but that's what you want, you know. If you want meat, that means you got to knock them on down. But tell you the truth, people, it's a beautiful day out here. We tried doing a little fishing yesterday, but it was too cold. It's not near as bad today. So we're going to get out in the woods and scout around, do a little goofing off. And maybe we'll bag something. Replenishing up this uh, brand bag right here. And look at there. Got us a bird nest and a little wasp nest. This thing had not been messed with in a long time. We're going to dump some more brand in there and fill it back up. One thing um, you want to do with a brand bag is make sure water can't get in it because uh, we had some we had some uh, in a brand bag in one of our green fields and it got moisture in it and the stuff froze and it took me like 10 minutes to try to bust that crap out and then when I did it was just like a the grossest crap imaginable so make sure you have that thing tied up strapped up you know extra extra water tight and uh sometimes it's even good to maybe have a different setup where you can build like a little awning or a trough system but we're not getting too fancy but just make sure water can't get in there A couple of years ago, we um, I planted some Dunstan chestnut trees down here, and you know I didn't didn't think about it. I planted them pretty late in the spring, and that summer it was about three summers ago actually. It came a hellacious drought and killed all but two of them. So I replanted a few of them, and that's a uh, what them grow tubes are, them green tubes. And I got them from Mossy Oak Native Nurseries. But I suggest if you want to plant fruit trees, uh, definitely use these grow tubes. They're not but six or seven dollars and it keeps uh, deer and stuff from tearing them up. It makes them, makes them grow up a lot better. Like I said, always plant them at the right time in the winter months usually and keep them watered up because if you don't they'll they'll croak out like mine did but I had to replant some of these but as you can see they they coming on a little bit another few years these will be putting on some chestnuts and I've always wanted some chestnut trees so hopefully we'll have us some here soon. <laughs> 